Ziauddin Ahmad Saleri Urdu Daya Aldin Am B 1913 to 21 April 1999 best known as Zia Saleri was a notable political journalist conservative writer author and Pakistan movement activist he is regarded as one of the pioneer of print journalism in Pakistan and authored various history and political books on Pakistan as well as Islam in the South Asian subcontinent Early life and education Ziauddin Ahmad Saleri was born in Dialai village of Zafarwal located in Naroval district region of the British Indian Empire, he got his earlier education from Govt. High School Zafarwal. He was a Rajput Salaria. After his graduation from a school, he briefly studied British literature at Patna University where he obtained BA in English. He moved to Lahore to attend the Punjab University to further study English literature. He earned MA in British literature after compiling a critical and analytical thesis on Great Expectations, written by Charles Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> Political activism and military service Due to his long attraction to the work of Charles Dickens, he earned the nickname of Pip, by his family and friends. He moved to Karachi after becoming politically aligned with the Muslim League led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. In support of the Pakistan movement, he penned many political columns and opinions in the Orient Press as well as the British Evening Times. He also authored and published, The Road to Peace and Pakistan, in 1944, and My Leader in 1945, all of which greatly exhorted the political objectives of the Pakistan movement and the independence from the British India of the British Empire. In 1946, he departed to the United Kingdom but returned to Pakistan after the partition by the United Kingdom. Immediately after his return, he was appointed assistant editor of the English-language newspaper, The Dawn. He left Dawn when the Pakistan Times was started in 1947, and took the assignment as its correspondent in London. For some time, he remained associated with the Pakistan Army and briefly served in inter-services public relations, which he eventually becoming its Director General and achieved the rank of Colonel in 1965. <laughs> <laughs> Career in journalism and ministry Furthermore, he was appointed as editor of the Pakistan Times in 1966. During this time, he gained conservative consciousness and wrote in support of military governments, capitalism. He penned several articles against the left-oriented Pakistan People's Party during the general elections held in 1970. Subsequently, he was removed by Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto from the Pakistan Times and was thrown in jail after penning an article against the socialism. An inquiry launched by the FIA, Saleri was picked up on charges of sedition at the behest of by FIA Director M. A. Girmani, and his case was tried in the central jail in Punjab. After the imposition of martial law in 1977, Chief of Army Staff General Zia ul Haq released him from the prison and ultimately appointed him at the stint as editor in chief of Pakistan Times. His political ideas further pushed him to be close with the military government whereas he briefly served as additional secretary of the Ministry of Information and Mass Media Broadcasting. During this time, he also served as the chairman of the Quaid i Azam Academy. His association with the military government remained close and witnessed key political events in the lives of Nawaz Sharif and Zia ul Haq. Death. In 1992, he joined the senior staff of the News International which he elevated to become as an editor-in-chief of the newspaper. Soleri was diagnosed with cancer and heart disease in 1995. In 1999, he died of heart failure in a Jinnah hospital. Topic book Saleri, Zah 1953, Wither Pakistan, Lahore, Eastern Publications Ahmad Saleri, Ziauddin al Quran, Divine Book of Eternal Value. Karachi, Pakistan, Royal Book Co. ISBN 978-9694070803. Ahmad Saleri, Ziauddin Islam, Universal Religion. Karachi, Pakistan, Royal Book. 
ISBN 978-9694071039. Soleri, Za My Leader, Being an Estimate of Mr. Jinnah's Work for Indian Masamans. Karachi, Lyons Publications. Ahmad, Ziauddin 1994. Influence of Islam on World Civilization. Karachi, Pakistan, Royal Book Co. ISBN 978-9694071640. Soleri, Ziauddin Ahmad 1950. Atheism in Pakistan. Lahore, Pioneer Publishers. Suler, Z.A. 1978. Influence of Islam on Western Civilization. Islamabad, National Book Foundation, 1st ed. edition 1978. Soleri, Z. Ahmad 1962. Pakistan's Lost Years, Being a Survey of a Decade of Politics, 1948-1958. Progressive Papers 1962. Soleri, Ziauddin A. 1945. The Road to Peace in Pakistan. Karachi, Sindh, Shish. M. Ashraf Publishing Co. Soleri, Z. A. 1964. Politicians and Ayub, being a survey of Pakistani politics from 1948 to 1964. Lion Art Press, 1964. Soleri, Z. A. 1990. Shahid-e-Malat Liaquat Ali Khan, Builder of Pakistan. Lahore, Royal Book Co. Soleri, Z. Ahmad, 1974. Quaid-e-Malat Liaquat Ali Khan, Leader and Statesman. Lahore, Oriental Academy. His unfinished biography When Za Soleri wanted to write his autobiography, he chose Boys Will Be Boys as its title. The autobiography never materialized, and after his death when his daughter, Sarah Soleri, decided to write a tribute to him, she gave this title to the book. Sources and references Topic. External links Articles of Soleri, A Daughter Remembers, from Kalidazan.net Za Soleri Passes Away, from Paxsearch.com Book Links Boys Will Be Boys, A Daughter's Elegy, from Amazon. Com ISBN 0-226-30401-9 Category, Directors General of the Inter-Services Public Relations.